Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. If you ever watch any of my videos, particularly my Lightroom videos, you'll often see me make a panel larger. For example, right now I'll make the basic panel larger. When that happens, I often receive emails from people asking me, how do you do that in Lightroom? Often they tell me they have poor eyesight and they can't see the panels very well. Sometimes they tell me they're working on a smaller laptop and they would love to be able to make the panels larger so they could better access the sliders. Unfortunately, that functionality is not found in Lightroom. I use a specific type of software to record my screen when I'm doing these videos. That software is called ScreenFlow. And with ScreenFlow in post-production, I could make those panels larger. So, if you're working with Lightroom and you need to better see those panels, you can't blow them up like I do in the videos, but there are a couple things you could do. First of all, Adobe gives you the smallest font available by default. So you can make the font larger. To do that, you need to go to Lightroom Preferences. If you have a Mac, Lightroom Preferences is under the Lightroom Classic menu. If you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Go to Preferences and then go to the tab that says Interface. And right at the top, you'll see font size, and you can see small, and that's the default setting. Change that to large. Now, when you do that, you'll notice at the bottom, it says note. Font changes take effect upon restarting Lightroom. So to see the larger font, you'll need to then close down preferences, then close down Lightroom, and then reopen Lightroom. And when you do that, the fonts will be larger. Unfortunately, as you'll notice, as I reopen Lightroom, they're not considerably larger. As a matter of fact, at first glance, they may look identical. But I took screenshots of the smaller font and the larger font, and you could see when I showed them side by side, they are slightly larger. So hopefully this helps. Another thing you could do, and you probably already know this, is you can make the panel larger. To do that, just go right between the edge of the panel here, and you'll see you get this horizontal arrow with the vertical line. Just click with the left mouse button and drag it out. And you can drag it out so far and it stops. So you can make this a little larger. What you may not know is you can make it even larger. To do that, hold in the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC. Click in that same area and now you can drag it way out. So you could drag it considerably over to the left. Now it doesn't really make any of the fonts larger or any of the sliders thicker. But it does give you maybe better access to the sliders, especially on a smaller laptop. So hopefully this could help. Now to get it back to its original position, just again, go between there till you get that funny cursor, click, and then just start to drag it in. It will jump all the way in and then you can move it to where you need it. This functionality also applies to the left panel as well. Hold that Alt or Option key in, click over there, and you'll be able to drag this one out considerable a considerable way as well. And to put it back, just click and start to drag it and it will go back. Unfortunately, you cannot do that to the film strip. So if we go down here and we make the film strip larger, it only goes so far. If I hold the Alt or Option key in and try to drag it, it still won't go any further. So that functionality only applies to the left and right panel. So those are the two things you could do to help you better see the sliders and the actual labels of the sliders. Unfortunately, you can't make the font much bigger than that. So hopefully this helps. If anyone has any other uh, suggestions, put them in the comments below. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>